For years, the J-20 looked advanced, sounded impressive, and promised a lot, but one crucial piece was still missing. Now, that gap has finally closed. In late 2025, new footage confirmed that China has begun serial production of J-20 aircraft powered by the long-awaited WS-15 engines. This moment doesn't just upgrade one aircraft. It completes a design, reshapes performance expectations, and signals a turning point in aerospace manufacturing capability. The J-20 has never been a static platform. Since its early introduction, it has evolved steadily through avionics updates, airframe refinements, and new onboard systems. Yet despite all of that progress, one limitation remained obvious to analysts and observers alike. The aircraft was flying with engines that were never meant to be permanent. Earlier production batches relied on interim power plants that worked, but not without compromise. The WS-15 changes that equation entirely. This engine was designed specifically to match the J-20's size, airflow demands, electrical needs, and thermal profile. That alignment matters more than raw thrust figures. With the WS-15, the aircraft gained stronger acceleration margins, improved high-altitude efficiency, and more consistent performance across long missions. Range benefits are not simply about distance. They affect mission flexibility, refueling dependency, and operational planning in subtle but important ways. Another key shift comes from power generation. Modern aircraft are no longer defined only by speed or agility. They rely on sensors, processors, and data management systems that demand reliable electrical output. The WS-15 provides greater power availability for these systems, allowing the aircraft's digital architecture to operate closer to its intended limits without stress or trade-offs. Maintenance is another overlooked improvement. Earlier engines required more frequent inspections and shorter service intervals. The WS-15 was engineered with durability in mind, reducing downtime and increasing fleet availability. That has a compounding effect over years of service, lowering operational strain while increasing readiness. Most importantly, this is not a prototype story anymore. Serial production confirms that these gains are not experimental. They are repeatable, standardized, and ready for long-term use. At this point, the J-20 is no longer an aircraft still waiting to mature. With the WS-15, it has reached a stable, fully realized configuration. Designing a high-performance jet engine is difficult. Producing it reliably, in large numbers, is far harder. This is where the WS-15 story becomes especially important. The engine flew in test configurations years ago, but testing alone does not prove industrial readiness. The true challenge lay in manufacturing consistency, material quality, and long-term durability under repeated use. At the heart of the issue were advanced materials. The WS-15 relies on single crystal turbine blades and powder metallurgy components capable of surviving extreme temperatures and pressures. These parts are exceptionally difficult to manufacture at scale. Even minor defects can shorten lifespan or reduce efficiency, which is unacceptable for operational fleets. Early production attempts struggled with yield rates and uniform quality. Solving those problems required improvements not just in design, but across the entire supply chain, metallurgy, machining precision, inspection processes, and quality control standards. This phase took years, and it explains why the engine's arrival lagged behind the aircraft's introduction. What makes the recent confirmation significant is not simply that the engine works, but that it can now be produced consistently. Serial production means factories can deliver engines that meet the same performance and reliability benchmarks across multiple units. It also means maintenance data can be standardized, logistics planning becomes predictable, and long-term service expectations can be accurately forecast. This step places China in a very small group of nations capable of producing fifth-generation class engines domestically and at scale. Many countries can assemble advanced airframes. Far fewer can independently master the materials science and production discipline required for engines of this class. In practical terms, this transition from development to sustained production is what turns an advanced concept into a dependable system. Without it, even the most impressive design remains limited. With it, 
the platform becomes an industrial reality rather than a technological aspiration. The WS15 should not be viewed as a final product. It is better understood as a foundation. Once a mature engine core enters stable production, it opens the door to refinement, adaptation, and expansion across multiple platforms. This pattern has been seen before in aerospace history, and it is likely to repeat here. Future versions of the WS15 may focus on extended service life, improve fuel efficiency, or enhance thermal margins. These refinements can be introduced incrementally without redesigning the entire engine. That flexibility allows manufacturers to respond to evolving requirements without starting from scratch. There is also the possibility of retrofitting. Earlier J20 airframes powered by interim engines could, in theory, receive WS15 upgrades later in their service life. Such updates would not only improve performance, but also simplify fleet logistics by reducing the number of engine types in use. Beyond the J20, the engine's core technology could support other high-end aircraft. Larger airframes, carrier-based designs, or future projects under development could all benefit from derivatives of the same engine family. Using a common technological base reduces costs, speeds integration, and simplifies training and maintenance pipelines. Perhaps the most forward-looking implication involves next-generation aircraft expected in the 2030s. Early sixth-generation designs will demand engines capable of higher power output, greater efficiency, and seamless integration with advanced digital systems. Having a proven engine family already in production provides a critical head start. In that sense, the WS-15 is less about a single aircraft and more about strategic continuity. It gives designers confidence that future concepts can rely on domestic propulsion solutions without compromise. That confidence shapes design choices long before any new aircraft is publicly revealed. Another important outcome is design freedom. When propulsion limits are removed, engineers can prioritize aerodynamics, onboard systems, and efficiency without constant compromise. This allows future platforms to be shaped around mission needs rather than engine constraints. Over time, this flexibility accelerates development cycles and reduces technical risk. In practical terms, a mature engine family becomes an enabler, not just a component, supporting faster innovation across multiple programs simultaneously. The arrival of the WS-15 in serial production marks a quiet but meaningful shift. It completes the J-20 as it was originally envisioned and confirms that advanced engine manufacturing has reached a new level of maturity. This is not about headlines or performance claims. It is about reliability, repeatability, and long-term capability. With this step, one of the most complex pieces of modern aerospace engineering moves from challenge to asset. And as future aircraft take shape, the impact of this engine will extend far beyond a single platform. It also reinforces a broader lesson in aerospace development. Progress is not defined by announcements, but by production stability. Reaching this stage means future upgrades can build forward instead of compensating for past limitations. That shift changes how long-term planning is done and how confidently future platforms can be developed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.